everyone and welcome to the monthly subscriber update video what I do with these monthly videos is welcome the new subscribers talk about some of the upcoming events talk about some of the previous projects I've done and try to give you some insight or information that you will not get anywhere else now what I want to talk about first is the past several contest that I attempted to hold on this channel. And I can think of two right off the top of my head that were not successful and I think there was a third one. It's just um, not a lot of participation if any at all and the reason why I believe is because I don't think I have a lot of active subscribers. I am over 500 subscribers now and I'm grateful for that. I appreciate every subscriber I have on the channel. However, like I said, I don't think they, there are very many active subscribers. There are a few of y'all out there, but I don't think I have enough active subscribers to participate in the contest. And I think that's the reasons I don't get a lot of participation, but that's fine. I'll keep going. I'm not going to stop trying to improve my channel, make it better, and to make it grow. And speaking of subscribers, I believe I have had a total of seven new publicly subscribed subscribers join in the last month or the previous month, previous 30 days, however you want to say it. And I will include a list of those names. Let's see. Okay, talked about the contest. Okay, let's talk about few. You know what, folks? I said I was going to start using notes for these monthly subscriber updates. I have my notes here, and I have not looked at them once. So let's take a quick glance. And before we do that, let's take a look at some of the other projects that I have completed. And the one we've been looking at that was completed. Who I can't remember, but that was recently. It completed and it was completed probably within the last week two maybe something like that anyway recent this one also recently completed and you can probably tell that Cornage is leaning I have to lean him more to the right side I wanted him to have a little bit of lean but it's too much so I have to adjust him and it's a pain in the butt trying to open that canister up. That's why he's still leaning right now. I'll get around to it, though. But yes, recently completed that one. And let me see. This one here is coming up soon. And there's his head, by the way, right there. This is coming up. And we probably all recognize that for what it is. It's an alien xenomorph. And he will be cornigized. And this is the, this is my first attempt at making a coinage head for it. But as you can tell, it's too long. So I won't be using this. Let me see what else is going on. What else is going on? Hold on, I'll be right back. This is a, another upcoming project. I will probably start on this one next. I'm undecided between this one and that one but I'll see in case you are not familiar with Jack of the Dust look it up just do a search for Jack of the Dust Cornish Skull something like that and you'll know what's going to be happening with this skull right here that's the plan for that and I'll try to maybe find a link to that Jack of the Dust for you if I, if I find it I'll leave a link in the description for you let me see what else all right let me check my notes talked about subscribers the contest projects okay another thing that I'm trying to do with these monthly subscriber updates and that is to give you like little information tidbits and stuff like that that would how can I say this? Okay, let me just give you the example. 
I recently did a Carnage cover. Hold on, let me see. It's too. It's a lot of C's. I recently did a Carnage comic cover collection video. I don't know if I've uploaded that yet, but in that video, I asked the viewers to identify the one comic that appeared twice in the video. Could be a no prize involved for the person who can identify that book. Now, if that no prize will actually become a real prize or not, I haven't figured that out yet. I haven't decided. But I guess if there's some participation or some interest in that, maybe it will become a real prize. And if you don't know what a no prize is, shame on you. Go do some Marvel research. Let me see. What else? What else? What else? But yeah, that's what I want to do with these updates, these monthly updates. Give you information you won't find anywhere else. And let me see. I think that's it, folks. I'm trying to keep this one short. The previous monthly update video was kind of long. I'm trying not to hold you for too long. And let's go over here and talk about this one last thing. All right. This is Manly. And I'm not going to show you the lower half of Manly because YouTube already restricted one of my videos for showing him below the abdomen. And if you're familiar with mannequins, we know that they're they're mannequins. <laughs> okay, and that's the that's the whole thing that surprised me when I got the restricted notice for the video. It's just basically a big piece of plastic. But okay, anyway, that's for another video. You can go check that video out if you want to. But this is one of my upcoming projects also. Uh, hopefully it will look like this one day and I have asked for any input information ideas for this as far as how to go about applying not necessarily paint but applying the I will be using epoxy on this probably some hot glue and any information I get would help because I've never worked on anything this at this scale. And I want to have some texture. I want this to have features. I don't want it to just be flat. I don't want to throw a bunch of red and black paint on here and call it a day. I want this to have some a lot of uh, texture to it, like this picture here. If you can see what I mean. A lot of detail. So, this is going to be one of my, well, this is going to be my biggest project, period, right here. I'll be right back. And that about concludes this video, folks. So make sure you stay tuned. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Hit that bell so you get notifications when I post new stuff. And thanks for supporting the channel. Thanks for watching this video. Bye. Hello again, everyone. This is the addendum to the monthly subscriber video. I just thought about some more stuff I had intended to discuss and I forgot, so I will discuss it now. And again, I will promise to keep it brief. I wanted to give y'all a look at the stuff behind the curtain, so to speak. It's the stuff that everybody else doesn't see in the other videos but they will see it if they check out these monthly subscriber videos so right now the channel was at 531 finally got there all right pushing toward that 700 slowly and it just shows you the progress now i don't really get too much into these analytics so let me see if i can go back i try to okay how do i go back okay here we go I try to check them out from time to time, but it's so much and I really don't have that much time to study the stuff. I'm sure if I had time to study it, I could improve my channel according to YouTube standards, the way they, the way they think I should improve it. But maybe I'll get around to it one day. I just don't have the time. Let's see some more analytics here. 10,000 views in the last 28 days. Now that's really good for my channel. Let me see, 10,000 views, watch time. I don't know if that 122 is good or not. 
41. All right, now there's 42 subscribers in the last 28 days. Majority of these are not public subscribers. And I know I'm always talking about public subscribers. And that's because this channel was founded on, on contests and prizes and free stuff, all that. And the only way, no, I shouldn't say the only way, but the easiest way for me to determine if someone is actually a real subscriber is if they are publicly subscribed. That, that's why I'm always talking about that. But the majority of these are not public. I think I have seven public subscribers in the last 28 days. So if you're interested in joining the channel and you want to enter the contest, uh, I must say it again, you have to be public, all right? So, oh, and I have to always say this part too. I appreciate each subscriber I get. Okay, I'm not going to be picky and choosy about whether you public or private. I'm not going to do that. I appreciate everyone I get. Okay, let me see. What else can we... Okay, that's some of the... What does this look like? Okay, top content in this period. Let's see what was top content. Harley Quinn, Scream, the Corny, oh, the Chaos Collection got some good views. More Harley. All right, talking about Iraqi Dinar. All right, so much for that. Let's see what else is going on. Real time updating, views last. What is this about? Okay, it won't let me click on it. All right, folks, that's as deep as I'm going to get into this. I don't want to get lost because I did want to show you. This is kind of another sneak peek behind what's happening. These are some of the projects I'm working on. Some of the videos I should say that I'm working on. Some of them are complete. I'm still trying to finish up some of them. So you can take a quick look. I'm not going to talk about these, but you can just take a look at the titles, get an idea of what's coming up. And I have quite a bit already recorded it just has to be edited and I have to wait until I can get around to posting it don't want to just post all of my content right now just drop it all and then I don't have nothing to put out the next week or the next month so I have to keep an eye on how frequently I post these to YouTube Let me see, and I think that is about it. All right, folks. Oh, wait a minute. One more thing. I almost forgot about it until I saw that skull. Where is it? Where is it? Okay, here we go. This is the skull I mentioned earlier in this video. Now, hopefully it will look like this one day. This is the Jack of the Dust Cornet skull. And this thing... I was looking around for it. I wanted to buy it, but it was sold out. And then this company, they made some more and those sold out. So this thing is kind of popular, I would say. So I figured, okay, I can spend $40 on a skull, get some epoxy. And I'm not going to get too deep into this part because this will be in the actual video series when I start working on this project. I can get some epoxy, do this stuff right here. Not sure if I'm gonna do the tongue. If I do, it's gonna be small because the tongue, that's really Venom's thing. So yeah, it's gonna require some epoxy and you know, of course, paint. And that's it. I figure I can make this for less than $100. So that's what I'm gonna be doing with that skull. So if you're interested in that kind of thing, make sure you stick around. And I'm gonna to try to get this done around the Halloween frame time. I think that would fit appropriately for October, Halloween. And I think that's it folks. I'm ho I hope I'm not forgetting anything else because I want to go ahead and do some final editing on this video and get it to y'all before the end of July. And today is the 29th. So I got a day or two. All right. Thanks again for watching. Thanks for supporting the channel. Bye.